Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton. See those ads? Did I scare you? Well, good afternoon, CPAC. Good to be here again. Judicial Watch is your watchdog in Washington. We uncovered the Clinton email and play to play scandals, and most everything we know, and most everything we know about the Benghazi and IRS corruption scandals. And by the way, the Clinton email scandal isn't over. The Clinton email pay for play scandal. Is it Obama scandal, a State Department scandal, a Justice Department scandal, and an FBI scandal? It's a shady corporation scandal. It's a foreign potentate scandal. Oh, and yes, it's a Russia scandal. Because we know Hillary and Bill took Russia cash and wanted to cover it up. What better way to do that than with a secret email system? Judicial Watch just forced the State Department to admit there was classified information on the laptop of Anthony Weiner, including the identity, yes, Anthony Weiner, including the identity of a CIA operative. You know, I know we talk about special prosecutors, but enough of that. I don't want new prosecutors, I want prosecutions. <laughs> Stolen and destroyed records violations of national security laws, you name it, Judicial Watch has compiled more than enough evidence to justify the lawful arrest of Hillary Clinton. So it's no wonder the corrupt D.C. establishment would rather talk about their made-up garbage about Donald Trump and Russia. And let's get right down to it. We have a rule of law crisis here in Washington, D.C. The left, the Obama gang, the Clinton gang, the government bureaucracy, the deep state and their allies and the corrupt liberal media all have target, targeted President Donald Trump. In 2016, the Clinton DNC hired a firm, Fusion GPS, who used Russia intelligence sources to come up with salacious, scandalous and false allegations about then-candidate Trump. And rather than warn and then protect Donald Trump from this Russia-Clinton disinformation campaign, the Obama FBI under James Comey and the Obama Justice Department under Loretta Lynch used the Clinton DNC Russia conspiracy dossier to target and spy on President Trump and his team. You know, I wonder, did Loretta Lynch talk about the dossier? with Bill Clinton during that tarmac meeting? <laughs> Remember, Obama used the IRS and Robert Mueller's FBI to target innocent conservatives and the Tea Party in 2012 to ensure his reelection. Is it any surprise that Obama would abuse and misuse the deep state again in 2016 to try to steal another election? Unmasking and then illegally leaking the names of Trump team members caught up in foreign intelligence gathering would be an incredible but unsurprising abuse by the Obama administration. Now, let me suggest that Obama and Clinton need to finally be questioned about their collusion, their shady little dossier. The leaking, the unmasking. Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party tried to hide the fact that they gave money to G Fusion GPS to create a dossier which was used by their allies in the Obama administration to mislead a court into allowing them to spy on the Trump team. Now the ethically challenged Adam Schiff wants to put out a memo about his party's dossier. Yeah. I also want to read the Democratic memo on a Democratic dossier paid for with Democratic Party campaign money for use by a Democratic administration to spy on the opponent of a Democratic presidential candidate. I'm looking forward to that memo. And of course, there is no Mueller investigation without the Clinton DNC dossier. Don't be distracted about indictments, 
about Russia Facebook posts and mortgage fraud. Even that big indictment of the Russia troll farmers is a fundamentally dishonest document design, designed to distract from the fact that the Russia collusion allegations against President Trump are collapsing. And the reason of being for the Mueller investigation is disappearing. This Russia indictment shows the Russia collusion scandal is over as far as Donald Trump is concerned. There is no evidence of collusion between President Trump's campaign. There is no evidence, there is no evidence, there is no evidence of collusion between President Trump's campaign and the Russians to steal an election. But there is evidence, there is evidence, there is evidence, I'm saying this slowly for the media, of Clinton, DNC, FBI, DOJ leadership collusion with the Russians to bring down President Trump. And then there's the FBI anti-Trump text messages. Remember those? You know, those lovely text messages between Peter Strzok and Lisa Page about how they hated Trump and loved Hillary? Those were hidden by Mueller, the FBI, and Justice Department for months. And Judicial Watch also uncovered that Mueller's number two, Andrew Weissman, is an anti-Trump partisan who sent an email to Sally Yates the Obama holdover, you remember her, supporting her lawless refusal to enforce President Trump's travel ban. Weissman also, by the way, went and attended Hillary Clinton's election night party, and he's number two in Mueller's operation. And a Judicial Watch investigation found that Mueller did not hire one registered Republican, no registered Republican, for his gargantuan team of prosecutors. Mr. Mueller himself is compromised. He was appointed thanks to illegal leaks by his friend, the Trump-hating Comey, who was rightly fired by President Trump. And then supposedly he interviewed for the job that opened up as a result of the firing. To sum up, Mueller is a witness in his own investigation of Trump. The whole superstructure of the anti-Trump Russia investigation is compromised. The Mueller special counsel investigation is out of control. Shut it down. So what do we do next? Well, unfortunately, Mueller is the tail wagging the Justice Department dog. Attorney General Sessions should unrecuse himself, take back full control of the Justice Department, and clean house. The FBI is a mess. Outrageously, its leadership has been focused on insurance policies, remember from the text messages, against President Trump, obstructing Congress and covering up scandal, all while utterly failing, failing to do its most basic jobs, like stopping the Parkland shooting. If the FBI won't do its job, then why do we have the agency? <laughs> Rather than continuing to defend the indefensible, Director Ray needs to step up or step out. So the challenge is, unfortunately, the deep state still seems to be running the show. The Trump White House can and should take action. President Trump should go on a transparency tear, telling his agencies to declassify and disclose the Obama collusion documents and get out, uh, get out everything they can about Clinton corruption. Transparency in government about the past and, yes, the present is essential to draining the swamp. Well, in the meantime, you have Judicial Watch. You don't have to rely on Congress or the corrupt liberal media. Judicial Watch is doing the heavy lifting. The Judicial Watch legal jugger juggernaut has over two dozen, two dozen lawsuits designed to get to the truth about the anti-Trump Obama-Clinton-Russia scandal and to provide oversight, a little bit of oversight, on the DOJ, FBI, Mueller, deep state craziness. You know, we exposed the corrupt Andrew McCabe, the Clinton-connected number two at the FBI, 
and he no longer has a job. And we know what happened to Hillary Clinton. It wasn't the Russians, it was her email. And Judicial Watch uncovered that. You know, what a great country we have where Judicial Watch can exer exercise our precious God-given rights to hold our government and politicians accountable to the rule of law and actually win. God bless America. Thank you very much.